I just want to share this stupid story. My dad was the one who recommended me the books, or was it my sister? Anyway, my dad and I were reading it at around the same time. Okay. And then that awful part happens, the, yeah. you know, the yeah, assault. Yeah, the assault scene, yeah. And I read it and I was like so disturbed. And then my second thought was, shit, my dad's read the same thing. Yeah, it's That's gross, also right? yeah. very extra gross. I saw the first movie with my mom and sister two rows away from the screen. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Which is like, no. I really wish I wasn't with the women in my family right now <laughs> watching this movie. Yeah. You had no idea that that was No, I had no had idea, yeah. Like, that's the, that's the worst part. Yeah. Hi, Reject Nation. Greg Alba here. What is your name? Achara Kirk. Achara Kirk, people. Oi, oi. Would you like a spot on tea? I would love a spot on tea. Why didn't you ask me one when I came over? I invited Achara here today because we're going to watch the trailer for The Girl in the Spider's Web, mm -hmm. the sequel to Charlotte's Web. <laughs> Yes. The comedy train just keeps on rolling at the Reject Nation. <laughs> Actually, by her because she has read the books yes. and uh, seen the Swedish movies and uh, has seen the first American film, too. And uh, speaking of Swedish stuff, Patreon of the Day shout out for the one person from Sweden who pledged to our Patreon. Aww. That is Mikhail Linden. Mikhail is a guy who's heavily encouraged me to go check out Sweden. If I'm not mistaken, the girl with the dragon tattoo must be his favorite piece of cinema because it is Swedish inspired. You love that Americans are trying to captivate audiences by remaking it in our English language, because yeah, so that makes Swedish people happy. So we're happy to bring a smile to your face, you mm -hmm. Swedish son of a bitch, you. <laughs> not interested in let the right one in. It's another great Swedish movie. It's not a franchise. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Okay. It's so cool that they got Rudy Marta return and David Fincher's back to return. Yeah, yeah right? Right? Let's just lead with that. <laughs> you know Claire Foy, right? You met her? You knew her? Went to school? Uh, her. Yeah, we went to school together. Sorry, I said those things. <laughs> You know how much I love you, don't you? Great relationship. Uh. What the hell hey. are you? Hey. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm a fan of yours. The CEO who beat up two prostitutes. But then got acquitted in court yesterday. It's got me down. I'm transferring 20% of your cash for these two girls. I'm calling down to security. The rest, I'm transferring to your wife. Nice. Account number. Don't. He won't hurt you again. Isn't this his wife? No, bitch! You try to contact your wife again? Or if anything unexpected should happen to her, this video will be sent to him. Who are you? She's the girl with the <laughs> dragon tattoo. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm not Elizabeth Salata, the writer of wrongs. The writer of wrongs. The girl who hurts men, who hurt women. I could never figure it out. Interesting. Why did you help everyone? But me? November release date, they must have a pretty good amount of confidence in this mm. one. It's better than December 
<laughs> I think the girl with the dragon tattoo, the first one came out in, like on Christmas. Oh. Which is why the movie underperformed and it's been such a long time since we've gotten another installment. So I've only seen the girl with the dragon tattoo directed by David Fincher. I know this right. is Fetty Alvarez who did films like Don't Breathe and the remake of Evil Dead and Claire Foy who's a Golden Globe winner. The Crown, which I haven't watched. Before I go into my opinions, I just want to say I really liked actually the first girl with the dragon tattoo. I thought Rooney Mara was amazing in that film and Fincher's direction and the cinematography was excellent. This was a bit of a readjustment for me to like have to watch and like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to really readjust to what I'm watching as it was going on. But what did you think? Well, it, obviously it's kind of weird for me every time I watch something with Claire Foy in it because I, you know, I went to school with her. Yeah. So I, I know her just as her. But this is definitely very different from things that she's done in the past. So mm -hmm. she's done a lot of more period stuff. This sort of role I haven't actually seen her in. A part of me is still kind of coming to grips with just seeing her in this very different gritty role and I'm not quite sure if I completely buy her 100% in this just yet. She might be watching. I know, but what I am gonna say <laughs> is because I know her and her work and her work ethic and how much she puts into every single character, I think that she can pull it off. She looks like she's pulling it off. It feels different than the Rooney Mara performance, which had got an Oscar nomination. <laughs> so that's a pretty heavy thing to follow up right yeah. away. I'm kind of confused on what the approach is with this film. It's obviously not just a direct remake of the first one. This is one of the sequel books. Yeah. So is this a sequel? equal or is it a soft reboot and they're just starting with the girl in the spider's web? There's stuff about it that feels like Fetty Alvarez directed it because this feels more like suspenseful kind of horror action yeah, thriller. Yeah. And it seems to lack a certain kind of mystery menace that Fincher can provide with his projects, which have this very like serial killer mystery solving uh -huh. vibe. And this one seems to be like badass chick who saves women who are in harm vibe. If I remember correctly, and I'm sure people are going to be like, Achara, you don't remember shit. <laughs> All these old women who watch the channel. <laughs> Achara, you don't remember shit. You're wrong, Achara. I seem to remember there being more like gang related issues okay. being more of the antagonist problem. So it's interesting that they've kind of gone with that more Elizabeth Salander is this badass. The, this badass heroine who has this reputation apparently yeah. as the woman who saves women in harm. Are you not Elizabeth Salander? The girl who hurts men. Who hurt women? I would want Fetty Alvarez to do his own thing, but there seem to be aspects of the way it's shot specifically that look like it's trying to look like the Fincher film. I thought the scene they essentially showed us, I'm sure it's mm -hmm. all cut up for the trailer. I liked the way that was all playing out and that was pretty cool how it was being done. The cinematography does seem like it's trying to look a little bit like a Fincher film. That's where it gets like, kind of confusing to me because I'm like, what are they trying to do specifically with this film? The thing about Fetty Alvarez though, of what I like about his movies, he's not afraid to go all out. I mean, the first one has some violent moments in it and there's some like brutal sexual assault stuff that goes uh -huh. on in it. But Fetty Alvarez can really amp that. <laughs> I think he would go much further out when it comes to hard R stuff. It's just right now, this feels more like some Sony Pictures horror action thriller. There's something about it seems to be lacking in specialty to me, but although I am appealed to it. It just seems like they've kind of like comic book character her out. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, but the, the thing is though, Lisbeth Salmon is a really interesting character because she's extremely antisocial. I think she may be autistic or like on the spectrum because yeah, she doesn't yeah. deal well with people. That's why she's a hacker. Well, and I then, thought that's why Rooney Mara's performance really captures that. And here she just kind of seems like a cool like badass a <laughs> chick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is fine, but I don't know if that's the direction that the writer originally yeah. intended. And I am also well aware that I've saw the first one like three times. I got that really ingrained in my head and this is like a completely different approach. I guess I gotta just see the movie to yeah, find out. Just to compare. So honestly, it still looks good with all the hype about like, oh, we're revamping it. We're getting a new person to star in it, new uh -huh. director. Will it be worth it is basically that. Will it yeah. be 
better this way? Will it work for more audiences? Right now, I can't really tell if it'll do that. I mean, it looks good. I'll give it a chance. November's a confident time to release this movie. No matter what, I'm definitely intrigued. This isn't something I'm going to skip out on. All right, guys. Well, you guys can subscribe to The Reject Nation. Click that notification bell because subscribe buttons are kind of broken. You can check us out on Patreon. Full-length TV show reactions, weekly Q&As, music video coverage. Become a Patreon Reject today. More importantly, join Chara Kirk on the Get Jabby YouTube channel. Get Jabby. Get Jabby. Get, get, more, get more Jabby in your life. And Achara is like an added bonus.